Now we're shifting about um, the crisis uh, management. Uh, the crisis management, now we check what is the crisis agenda. Then what is the, I will select the most important topics to include it in my agenda. I cannot include now any weak topic because it is crisis. Then I need to focus in the most important topics. Okay, uh, the steps is first of all, choose which de decision theme I will go through, then make a meeting plan, then I will uh, meet the most important person, then we will ask about the external help if I need, based on my plan. This is the sheet for crisis agenda. Uh, just I need to draw your attention. Uh, the crisis agenda is divided to four categories, four colors, same as um, a 360 degree. This is the most important thing. You will see if it's related to the concept, it's there. If it's related to the operation, it will be listing. If it's related to the customer relationship, my relationship, as I mentioned for you, whether it's country to country, organization to organization, ministry to ministry, company to company. Okay, then we will reach the operation. If there are any agenda related to the operation, and I will list it in this uh, list and I will make uh, the action or the description for each aspect in the agenda. Now we will uh, shift to um, in the crisis management, re-secure the team. Why? Now I need to mapping the vital people, the most important people support the organization. For example, uh, while all the uh, world is locked down, everybody staying in home. Um, what we will see is uh, the most important people it's working, then those people it's who is supporting their organization, supporting their country, it's working day on day and night to helping us in this crisis. What I will do Regarding for re-secure team, first of all, I will evaluate the most important people in my organization. Then I will schedule several meetings with them. Okay, maybe it's a daily meeting, a weekly meeting, a monthly meeting, uh, maybe it's an hourly meeting based on the crisis uh, effect. Now, the third thing, we approve the material in the meeting. What is the material mean? What is the uh, most important decision, I will approve it in the meeting, then we will finally select what is the valuable team can implement uh, uh, this important action. I will show you now, this is the re-secure team, uh, based on the chart is there, you can write it or you you can map it by yourself. You write here, for example, uh, you write here the, um, uh, the name of the minister and all these teams is the surrounding or the vital team in each um, uh, ministry or maybe in each organization. And this is, is the categories, okay, where you want to take your action. And here you will write, is this action is important or not important? And what is the role for each a person or what is the role for each team or each department. Now uh, we shifting to another item in the crisis management. We will discuss about the contract negotiation. We will make a negoti negotiations in this contract by exploring what is the possibility for renegotiate with the contract terms. This is affecting uh, with the people who they have contract with their uh, <laughs> with their um, organization, maybe they need to change the contract. For example, uh, for um, the contract, there are a contract between the customers and their bank. And this contract is changed. Why? Uh, the top management in the country uh, initiate to um, 
to changing uh, the rule, for example, for the loan or the rules for the bank, then they implemented them. This is it's part of contract negotiation. Then they changing the contract between the client or the customers and bank or between the employee with their uh, ministries through the world. Now, the other items or the other points and the most important points in the crisis management, we will discuss the cash management. We will find the best way uh, to create a better short-term or long-term cash flow. Uh, now, all the countries through the world looking for the liquidity, looking for the cash, uh, looking for their economy. Uh, they need to survive in the coming months. What will be happen? Everything will be forecasting. Everything should be well planned for the coming months. Then this is the cash flow um, tools, uh, also from 360 uh, degree perspective. You can use it. You can fill it by your own important uh, informations about the payment, about incoming payment, outcoming payment transactions. This is it's applicable, as I mentioned before, this is for, for the countries, for the ministries, for the organization, for the companies. Also, this is, is the last uh, items in the crisis management. We will discuss about the financial warning signals. Uh, we will find some tools uh, helping the organization about the warning. Um, for the financial situation and for financial accounting and financial forecasting, because now all uh, the countries, organizations, ministry forecasting for the coming month. And this is the tool for the forecasting. You will list all your area for your income, whether your revenue, your budget, your um, investment, uh, then you will write the possibility warning and you will you will highlight by color again we're using in 360 degree colors with 20 focus area as we mentioned before and now here again writing for uh, signals for each area if it's uh, most important, medium, or high important. And in the remarks area, you can write your remarks. Then again, I will inform you, this is, it's, we call it decision sheet. You use it and take action in a very easy way, rather than receiving a several plan with many pages, with a lot of text and nobody during the crisis, even though before the crisis have time to reading 100 pages. Page. And instead, you find all your information in one page. Uh, finally, uh, there are uh, several outcomes from 360 degree. Uh, we can solve uh, our problems, okay, in a very easy way um, by taking decision and making action. Again, we remind you about decision and action. This is an overview for the perspective of 360 degree. And this is, is the shape what you will find it in your organization, in your country. It depends about your evaluation as we discussed it before by using the checklist tool uh, from uh, 36, uh, 360 degree. Then uh, to reaching uh, this, um, to reaching the final destination of our presentation today, um, you should take your decision, decision by decision. You cannot make it in one time, okay? It is a few tools you can use one by one and make your decision, decision by decision, action by action. This is, it's the end of our presentation. I will draw your attention. This is it's my publication book. I have four publications. This is the recent one about the technology and technology transfer, what we use it now during the crisis. All my book is available in amazon.com. More than will come if you um, visit amazon.com or send me an email to provide you the brief or the flyer of my book.
Thank you so much for your listening. And here it's concluding together. This is the 360 degree with 20 focus area. Okay, and we proven together that this one is a powerful tool. We can use it in the crisis management, whether with the crisis or before the crisis in normal life. Thank you and have a great day.